Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this screencast I would like to show you how you can create line charts using a library called iOS Plot. Now this is of course a free library that you can download from GitHub. It's not really available on the CocoaPods right now but you can download it from GitHub called iOS Plot and it allows you to create really basic level of uh, line charts and pie charts. So if you have simple needs um, and you want to create these kind of graphs, these, these kind of charts, then you know, take a look at iOS Plot. It might be suitable for your simple needs. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, we are going to be creating a line chart in this example. And so this is uh, this data actually comes from the iOS Plot. If you if you download the library they have a sample data folder and inside that they will have this particular file for the line chart which supplies the data for the line chart. So as you can see it's in JSON format and you have uh, data as the key and you have the another key which is called X labels right over here. Uh, each data have a multiple data items so these are the items that will be actually plotted on the screens uh, there's 5, 10, 15, 22, and uh, 30. And then, of course, the title, which is uh, R, E, P, U, B, Repub, D, M. So kind of like random titles. Now, how does this relate to over here, like these things, the X labels? So X labels will go on X axis, which is like from left to right. And this data, which is inside the data dictionary or data array, will actually be plotted on the Y axis. Okay, so you have to remember that we won't we won't be needing this file because I will be uh, creating a dynamic list and uh, instead of actually right typing all that code, um, I'm going to simply drag and drop a function or a method called get graph data, which will allow me to create or to get the data similar to the JSON file. You don't have to worry about what I'm doing inside over here because most of the time you will be reading from either the JSON file or you will be requesting uh, you know the graph data from some web service or something right but this particular function that I created or a method that I created get graph data it will return me some random data uh, to which I can plot on the screen and the format will be exactly same as the format of the line chart data sample file which is included in the iOS plot download. All right. So now since this is not included in the Coco pods, you have to include the PC line chart view and PC pie chart um, which will allow you to create these kinds of charts. All right. Let me go ahead and so if I run it right now, and I'm running it on the iPad, so we can have a much larger area to work with, and it really doesn't display anything at this point because I haven't really uh, plotted the graph. So let's go ahead and uh, utilize the components and create the graph. So the first thing what I'm going to do is create the PC line chart view okay so this is this is the PC line chart view is basically responsible for creating the line chart it asks you that where what is the x-axis what is the y-axis for the frame and of course the width and the height of the line chart okay uh, we set the auto resizing mask we set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to be 100 um, which means that these will be the axes that will be created you can see uh, the minimum value is 0 and uh, it goes up to 100 which is the maximum value um, so we have already added that particular line chart view to our uh, sub view basically all right to the main view sub view Okay, so now it's time to create the graph. Um, I'm going to say NS mutable array and um, it's going to create an array called components NS mutable array 
and then array which will give me the mutable you know uh, it, it creates an empty array it will give me an empty array and then uh, what I'm going to do is get a dictionary call it results and then uh, get the graph data and of course you can change the graph data I'm just using my own method that I declared it over here which is going to return me an NS dictionary with uh, some sort of a graph data some sort of random graph data okay and this mutable array now there are of course different keys inside that dictionary and uh, I'm going to use the value for key and then going to get the data out of that so this will give me that particular dictionary now at this point what you can do is iterate to iterate through that data and now we are dealing with the numbers okay so if I go over here we are dealing with this these numbers so uh, we're going to create a PC line chart view component as you can see set the title to the title so whatever the title is this one it will be set of course we are using our graph data method so in this case the title is Houston 1 Houston 2 till like maybe Houston 10 and the data is uh, the set of points and I, I believe the set point will take an NS array so that's why we are going to get the data out of that and it will get all the points so if you're taking the example of this it will get all these points out and it will feed it to the set points method should uh, sh set should label values so this is like if you want to label the values uh, let's say well in this case I'm not sure if you want to do that so I'm just gonna say well just gonna say yes so you can have a better idea of how it looks like um, the last two lines which I'm going to add now are basically to create to add the component to the set of components okay and to also set the X labels because you, you do need something on the X axis right it cannot be blank so let me go ahead and run this and here we go so you have your chart created and uh, when I was talking about setting the X axis labels you can actually see that it's setting as Houston 1 Houston 2 Houston 3 and so on till Houston 10 um, it's also putting some data on there let me actually go ahead and if I turn this off and run it again here we go so this is what the graph actually looks like with the values that I'm providing of course I'm providing the values uh, I believe between uh, 0 and 100 and all these values are random and you can see it's a pretty nice really decent graph you can change the color of the graph uh, using the PC color so I'm just gonna say red so you can uh, create graphs of different colors you can label it you are uh, you can do multiple things with it um, so this will serve you you know the basic purpose if you have uh, graphing needs uh, this I, I believe iOS plot is a very good library for creating basic kind of graphs it provides you with an interface that you can use uh, the format uh, as you can see is also very easy to understand and uh, that's pretty much it I mean uh, so if you have graphing needs uh, charting needs do check out iOS plot as you can see over here it also creates pie chart which I'll explain in the next screencast uh, and that's pretty much it so one of the questions I'd like to answer is uh, most of the people actually email me or write comment that hey we need uh, can you please create uh, this video we have a suggestion and I do really appreciate that and I would highly encourage you to submit an idea for screencast as you can see there's a link simply go on youtube.com slash azamsharp 
and you will see submit an idea for a screencast and uh, whenever you submit an idea I will get an email and uh, if you go on the website of course there are some open ideas which I haven't really implemented at this point but uh, you know they're always in a queue to be worked on and if you go and see the closed item there's a long list of items that are closed that have been done that have been submitted and uh, this will give me some you know new ideas to work on so if you want to suggest any video then uh, use the link submit an idea for the screencast that's pretty much it I hope you like this screencast and thank you for watching